So iPhone 15 released last week and there's already been a slew of defects, problems and flaws pouring in day by day. From overheating to software bugs and even, let's say, physical complications. Yeah. So, should you buy the 15 this year? Or is it not the time yet? To answer that question, you'd have to look at your specific situation first. So if you have an old iPhone, like a iPhone 10 or an 11, your window to get a good upgrade deal will end with this release or the next one if you're an iPhone 11 user. So you have no choice if you wanna get the best possible deal now. Check with your carrier and see what kind of deal they can offer you on your current plan or what you can get if you upgraded your plan. In my case, I have T-Mobile and I upgraded my plan which gets me $1,000 off of 15 Pro with my 12 Pro as a trade-in. For you, it could be different, so find out. But if you have a newer phone, you have a choice to make. Do you buy the new phone now or wait? It depends on your faith in Apple, to be honest, to get their kinks out in the next batch of phones. With any technology company, they're notorious for having bugs with first release devices like we're witnessing here. If you believe the next production of iPhones will have the most of the problems fixed, I would recommend waiting a couple weeks to a month and get it at that time. Whether you want to or not, that might be the choice that you're forced to do. Unless you're buying the phone directly from Apple themselves, carriers are struggling to keep the phones in stock at stores, especially the pro models. So let's say that you're deciding to get the 15, which color should you buy? Now that's all up to you of course, but there are some things you'll want to know. Number one, keep in mind that you're going to put a case on this, so the color does not matter. Unless you're buying a clear case to see the phone, don't stress yourself too much. One thing I will say about the 15 base models is that many have mentioned the blue color looks kind of white and stuff like that, but the pink is a satisfying color if you're into that sort of thing. So think about that beforehand, but like I said, just remember you're gonna have a case. Number two, whether or not you're going to get the 15 or 15 Pro models. As per my last video you can see above, I went into detail about the changes from the 14 models to the 15 models. But for the sake of this video, I'll give you a rundown and keep it simple. For those who use their phones for basic daily use without any frills like intensive gaming, advanced photography and or videography, get the regular 15. Just keep in mind that you'll have a new charger, which is called Type-C. These wires are used for iPads, Macs and other various household devices, so no more lightning cable. But one of those comes in the box, so all you'll have to worry about is the power brick. A slightly more in-depth answer is this. For those who have the 14 plus or lower, either model of 15 will be a huge advancement for you. Every one of the previous models, excluding the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, has had a 12 megapixel main back camera, which has been around since like iPhone 10. Every model 15 has a 48 megapixel 4K camera that can produce pictures in Apple Pro Res, which is essentially a format that retains very high image quality with lots of information to use later in an edit. This means in simplest form, you'll be able to take even better pictures. If you have an iPhone 12 or newer, you're already experiencing 5G. But if yours is older, all of the new iPhones offer 5G connectivity, which will be a big improvement for you. On the other hand, if you're someone who utilizes your phone to the fullest ability for playing games, shooting pictures and videos at the highest quality, and like to have the best of the best at the time, get the iPhone 15 Pro models. The 15 Pro Max has the ability to have a five time zoom or 120 millimeter focal length, enabling you to have a telephoto camera in your pocket. The camera is 12 megapixels on the telephoto, but nonetheless, you have the zoom available to you. You'll also be able to take advantage of a new feature, spatial video. This is something that has been largely slept on for good reason. The device that can see this isn't out yet. In another past video, I went over the Apple Vision Pro augmented reality headset that is a digital world over your physical one, like Tony Stark's Iron Man tech. It's expected to be released early 2024. Yeah, vague, I know. So that's another thing I'll be getting my 15 Pro Max for. For colors and Pro models, to say this simply, it's another shit show. I'd say the easiest route would be to get the black one and call it a day, but that's not so easy now. In Jerry Rig Everything's video, you can clearly see how the paint on the titanium models can be scratched off revealing a silverish undertone, which will look pretty bad over time outside a case. Even with a case, I mean, you'd want to be careful anytime you take it out of it in fear of those haunting scratches. My best recommendation would be to either get the natural or white titanium to get ahead of any possible like side scratches, compromising outside paint on the phone. So that's it guys. If you have any more comments about the iPhone's best release yet, leave them down below. Also, if you found this valuable or helpful at all, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a bunch and my goal is to hit 2K subs by the end of this year and that'll help me do so. So thank you in advance. So are you gonna get the new iPhone? Let me know that one too below. With all that said, you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.